With every breath I feel alive I got a lot of fun And just Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. Me, how the production NASA, the check it out. We're gonna play Fortnite over the 4K TV with the Apex uh, 2 uh, from the Fly DJ company using the ROG 5 with the HDMI USB uh, hub. So, all the buying links will be in the description. Enjoy this video. Uh, yes, enjoy this video, guys, and share it. Plus, hit that like button. Help me with the YouTube algorithm. Come on, help me out, bro. I want to show you settings, unfortunately, still the epic, uh, what a douchebag out of the company, guys. Uh, they didn't yet release still 60 FPS update for the ROG 5, which is seriously not even 90, I mean, not even 60 FPS. Uh, crazy, that's crazy, seriously. Okay, we are in, we are in. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is the first time I'm testing Fortnite over the TV or this 4K TV in my living room. Awesome, man. Okay. okay. Kill me. I'll just put the volume up a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, the game looks awesome, bro. Awesome bro, awesome. I'm gonna just bring myself here so you can see that I'm playing it with the gamepad. Of course you get that. Apex 2 Ninja, Fly DG Apex 2. I wish that there is a 60 FPS. 60, 30 FPS is a really bad experience with the Fortnite. I'm telling you, 60 FPS, uh, oh, 90, oh my god, 90 FPS with the OnePlus uh, 9 and OnePlus 8 series is just absolutely amazing. I'm not a big fan of the Fortnite, but I'm testing it here over the 4K TV because uh, playing any game over the 4K TV right now with the ROG 5 is just beautiful, bro. Hey, uh. Okay. 
Okay, first kill at least. Hey, yeah. I'm very bad at this game, I have to admit. Don't like it that much, and second thing... <laughs> anyway, let's continue next. Who shot me from where? Okay, I think that should be it guys, I hope you enjoyed this small short test, Fortnite with the RG5 on 4K TV, the FlyDG Apex 2. Okay, so now we'll be showing you how we are playing these games with this gamepad guys. Uh, you need to install yourself an application which is called FlyDigi. Uh, we're gonna get exit right now everything quickly here, we're gonna go here to uh, Play Store. Okay, and this is the FlyDG app, guys. FlyDG Game Center app. This, just basically download yourself this app, open it, and from here, guys, you can access uh, you can access uh, different games. I mean, you can add every single game which you have. Uh, I repeat again, some games they do have on default gamepad support. Not so many games have a gamepad support. I mean, most of the games don't have a gamepad support. So that's why you need to have this kind of gamepad and the application itself. From here, obviously, you're gonna access and you're gonna pair it through this application with, uh, via Bluetooth uh, application. And remember always to uh, upgrade your gamepad, your basically your gamepad software. It's already updated the latest for the Fly, Fly DG Apex 2 okay so now uh, if you want to add you add the games from here simple guys like see myself I don't add the arc I'm not gonna add assault 9 these games have a gamepad default support okay so now we're gonna go to the Fly DG uh, to the uh, of course uh, wild drift and from here I'm gonna just move here you can see myself I'm playing it right now with the gamepad which is insane, a mobile game ninjas. I will also try to do this uh, test with the Mobile Legends, but with the Wild Drift, Wild Drift, it's working just fine. So, uh, how are you gonna assemble all of these and where in the heck the buttons, how you do this? So on the top corner, or it's usually here on the right side, top right side, you have this Fly DG icon, guys. Tap this Fly DG icon, and from here you're gonna access uh, basically uh, the customization button so you go to edit you can add uh, for every single game a different obviously profile and I would suggest you to do that if you are playing these games uh, frequently okay let me just exit sorry for that I'm gonna just exit here cancel okay they will kick me out bloody them so you're gonna go to edit and from here you can see by yourself you assemble uh, the actions of the gamepad to each action you want so you can see by yourself that most of the things I could add but obviously some of the things are still missing the map these three options option mute and microphone you could do that and also here some alert uh, actions you can add uh, these functions all together Beautiful, isn't it? Seriously, it's beautiful. So it's simple, guys. So you just drag. Example, the arrows I use for the upgrades. The arrows I use for the upgrades. There you go, you can see by yourself. So I use them, just uh, the arrows I use for the upgrades. After you finish that, you just simply tap here, save. And that's it. That's it. Simple like that. After that, you just use the save. Remember to uh, obviously assemble uh, for each action one single button, but for some actions you can even uh, assemble the same button for two actions. Why? Because you can, example, uh, do this action and example, open the map in the same time. Th that's not going to be any problem. That's gonna, not going to be any problem, example, okay? 
So yeah, that's it. That's a very short tutorial. I repeat again, if you want to hide these options or show them, if you want to see here, you have an option here to show the buttons. And you can see by yourself, the buttons are shown right now. For which action are they, are they here? Yeah, beautiful. So now we're gonna again disable them. Show them back. You can go here to back to the screen and I'm gonna go again, which is really good. The game, uh, the Fly DG app doesn't close the game, which is really good. That's, that's really good. And always have in mind that uh, uh, have it always active in the background. This is very important so it doesn't close your game. That is very, very important. From here, recommendation, we have some applications, blah, blah, blah. That is fun. Extensions, you can see by yourself here, these are the extensions. The buttons on the back, R1, R3, L3, select and menu. All together, you can also assemble all these buttons to the action, which is again insane, guys. Insane, insane, insane. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this was the tutorial for the Apex. Uh, very simple tutorial for these games which you see on my YouTube channel, these videos which I'm testing. Games, Android games that don't have uh, uh, gamepad support on default. You will have to get yourself, buy yourself uh, Apex 2 uh, and FlyDG app if you want to have uh, the pro gaming experience. Beautiful. By the way, I'm having here ROG5 with the uh, USB hub, HDMI USB hub, which has uh, three USB ports, Type-C USB port, it has LAN, uh, it has SD card expansion, and HDMI, and HDMI. Also, link for this product will be in the description. I will be leaving that, okay? Ventune, this is Ventune. You don't have to buy exactly this one, but I will leave the links in the description for these kind of USB adapters, HDMI adapters. Thank you for watching. Long video, I know, but I think you're gonna be happy about this. Beautiful.